Okay, let's look at a few examples. For example, number 1, given the following data, estimate the value of f of 2.5 by using third order Newton interpolating polynomials. So, since we need to find for third order polynomial, you must have four data points. So, this is your x0, x1, x2, and x3. So, the first step is always to write down the general form of third order Newton interpolation polynomial. So, for third order, so f3x equals to f of x0 plus with x minus x0 f x1 x0 plus with x minus x1 sorry x minus x0 x minus x1 f x2 x1 x0 plus with x minus x0 x minus x1 x minus x2 f x3 x2 x1 x0 so this is the general formula of third order Newton interpolating polynomial so to use this formula you must find the first divided difference the second divided difference and also the third divided difference. So the next step is to construct the divided difference table. So in your table, the first column is the x values. The second column is your y value, f of x. And the next column is the first divided difference. And then the second divided difference. Since we are finding for the third order Newton interpolating polynomial, so you must have the value of the third divided difference. So your x value is 1, 2, 3, 4. Y value 2, 5, 7, 8. So the first input of the first divided difference is between the x1 and x0 values. So just use the formula of gradient, which is the change in y divided by the change in x. So this 5 minus with 2 divided by the change in x, 2 minus 1. So this one is 3. For the second output here is between the x2 and x1 values. So the 7 minus with 5 divided by 3 minus 2. So this one is 2. And for the last output here, so this 8 minus 7 divided by 4 minus 3. So this one is 1. Next, you must draw a red line like this. Okay. Done for the first divided difference. So, for the second divided difference, the first value here is between these two previous values. And this the next value here is between these two values. Okay. Same as before, you just use the formula of gradient. Uh, the change in y is 2 minus 3. So 2 minus 3 divided by the change in x. So what is your x value here? So you just uh, follow this red line. For the first x value, you always go down. So you go down until here and then always go down. And 
for this 7, the, the corresponding value of x is 3. So 3 minus with. For the next value of x here, for this one, you must go goes up. So always goes up. So goes up and then always goes up. So the corresponding value of x is 1. So this one, the answer is negative 1 over 2. And for the next value here, so just 1 minus with 2 divided by, so your x value, the first x value here always goes down. So go down, you go down until here, and the value of x is 4 minus with, after that you goes up. So goes up, always goes up, and the value of x is 2. So this one also negative 1 over 2. Okay, next is the value of the third divided difference. So the change in y, so negative 1 over 2 minus with negative 1 over 2 divided by, so what is your x? So make sure the first one, always you, al you must always go down. So go down until here and then always go down, always go down and the x value is 4 minus with the next value of x you must goes up okay, up until here and always up until here and then up until here so the value of x is 1 so this one since the, the numerator is 0 so 0 divided by 3 is 0 okay. the next step is to step, substitute all of these values into the Newton's formula for third order. So this one is f of x naught. So your f of x naught is 2 plus with x minus x is the unknown value. x minus x naught. So x naught is 1. Multi multiply with the first divided difference between x1 and x0. So for x1 and x0, this is the first divided difference, which is 3. Plus with x minus x0, x minus x1, and your x1 is 2. And then multiply with the second divided difference between x2, x1, and x0. So um, the second divided difference between x0, x1, x, and x2 is this value, negative 1 over 2, plus with x minus x0, 1, x minus x1 is 2, x minus x2 is 3, and multiply with the third divided difference between x3, x2, x1, and x0, which is this value 0 here. Okay, this value here of course becomes 0 because 0 multiply with this one. So this one is 0. Okay, the next step is to substitute the estimation value. Since we want to estimate for f of 2.5, so you must substitute the x value with 2.5. 2 plus 2.5. Minus 1. And after that, just calculate the answer using your calculator. This one is 2 plus with 4.5. Plus with negative 0 0.375 so the answer is 6.125 therefore the estimation value of f of 2.5 by using third order newton interpolating polynomial is 6.125 for example, number 2, I use the same um, data as the previous question. But for this question, 
uh, you need to find the f of 2.5 by using second order Newton interpolating polynomial for to find the second order polynomial you must have three data points So now, this is your x. x equals to 2.5. So x equals to 2.5 is between x equals to 2 and x equals to 3. So this 2.5, this 2.5 between 2 and 3. So you must choose 2 and 3 to be your data points. For another one data point, you must choose between 1 and 4. So now, which one to choose? Uh, you need to find the distance between 2.5 and 1. Distance between 2.5 and 1 is 1.5. And distance between 2.5 and 4 also 1.5. So you may choose either one. So uh, for now, I choose this one here. So my three data points are 1, 2, and 3. And this is x0, x1, and x2. You may also choose uh, 2, 3, and 4. The answer will be the same. Okay, for the first step, always write down the general formula of second order Newton interpolating polynomial. So f2 of x equals to f of x0 plus with x minus x0, f x1 x0 plus with x minus x0 x minus x1 f x2 x1 and x0 so your formula stop until here because we need to find only for the second order Newton interpolating polynomial since the data in this question is the same as the previous question so I just use the table uh, from the previous question If you want to draw for the new divided difference table, you may do so. But your table will only until the second divided difference. No need to calculate for the third divided difference. Because we only need to find for second order Newton interpolating polynomial. And then the next step is to substitute all of these values into the formula. So, f of x0 is 1, sorry, 2, plus with x minus 1. So, this is the first divided difference, which is 3, plus with x minus 1, x minus 2. And this one is the second divided difference between x2, x1, and x0. So, this is the value, negative 1 over 2. And after that, you just substitute the x value, uh, the 2.5 value into uh, the unknown x. So, 2 plus 2.5 minus 1. 2.5 minus 1. 2.5 minus 2. Multiply with negative half. And then, just use your calculator. So, the answer is 6.125. So, the estimation value for f of 2.5 by using second order Newton interpolating polynomial is 6.125.